So I have, a, I have an unresolved question that I've been thinking about for a little while because... God, I'm so sorry. Nick did a video a while back. <laughs> oh, jeez. About cast iron skillets. Oh, nice. Where he, be good. Used, he used soap to clean his cast iron. You didn't want and to bring that up. That. Andrew, why and would know, you want to bring that up? That's been a bone of contention here. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me be very... <laughs> you know, let me be crystal because, clear here. Because I think... Hang, hang on, Andrew. Let me be let me be crystal clear here. The majority of humanity will lose their fucking shit if you tell them that you can wash a cast iron pan with soap. My point is that nothing bad will happen to your cast iron pan if you wash it with soap. In fact, there are some benefits to cleaning your cooking equipment, like not having oh, shit God, taste like man. food now that you cooked the other day. <clears throat> But, nah, he's but that's on you. Thanks a lot, <laughs> but, Andrew. But that's but, on you, right? If you if you so like is, if you wash your stainless steel pans and your aluminum pans, I don't see why you don't fucking wash your cast iron pans. But that's on you. I don't care. But what I do care about is the so, disinformation that somehow Dawn soap is going to ruin the fucking seasoning on your pan. It does not happen. So so quit saying that because it's bullshit. You can wash your pans; it'll be just fine. You know, I haven't talked about it. I'm not talking to you, Rip. I, 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 I kind of kind of am, but I'm mostly talking about I haven't talked about it. You know why I don't like to wash my cast iron pan? Because I don't like to do shit I don't have to do. I mean, why would I carry that big, heavy fucking piece of shit over to my sink and put Dawn in it and scrub it so that it's nice and sterile so Nick can't taste his salmon when he cooks his eggs? Yeah, fuck that. That's you know, I, I just I think, rather I just, you know, you know. Rip, when you say... Rip, when you say that you don't use soap, I think some people, and this is why I'm calling, I think some people have this conception in their mind where you get done making something and you've got grease in the pan and you've got a bunch of shit in the pan and you go, fuck it, that's fine. And so the the question I have is, what is your post-cooking cast iron cleaning procedure? I don't have one. Oh, so it is just, <laughs> fuck it, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. If I've got a bunch of grease left over in the pan, uh, what I do is I will pull the grease out with my my spatula and I put it in a little bowl I've got on my on my counter there that I store grease in and I'll just use it to cook with next time. This is having been raised in a commercial kitchen and I've just, you know, I, you know, I'm not as meticulous about things as some people are. But what I do is when I get through cooking in that pan, I pull the food out of the pan. Then I will take my spatula and I will scrape the pan so that anything stuck to it is loose. It's, it's, it's no longer stuck. So that restores the non-stick surface to the skillet. And then I turn off the heat, and I go over to the table, and I eat. And I don't think about it again yeah. until the next time I'm, I'm going to use the pan to cook. And then if there's a bunch of shit in the pan, I will take two paper towels. I will turn the heat on and get the pan warm, and then I will wipe the grease and the goo out of the pan until it's nice and black and shiny, you know, because I'm into diversity, right? And uh, and then I'll cook on the thing. <laughs> diversity. <laughs> See, and I think, and I think that's exactly that's exactly what the audience needed to hear as far as what what your actual procedure. I'm not going to do it. I think I think I like using soap, but I think that's a that's a perfectly reasonable method. In terms of not just leaving a bunch of shit in the cast iron skillet. No, no, no. You wipe <laughs> that out. I appreciate you outlining that. All right. Well, yeah, thank right. God for you, Andrew. Man, I mean, you have clarified. Well, <clears throat> now the thing is crystalline, right? Uh, absolutely. And, and, and uh, I, can, I can sleep in peace. So I'm headed back the to man, the world. I've, <laughs> this week on Starting Strength Radio, we are going to do one of our famous call-in Q and A's. That's where you. Call us when we tell you to, once we okay it, you know. You call us, and we get on the phone with you, and we ask you questions. No, no, I'm sorry, that's not right. You ask us questions. Although sometimes we have to decode 
what it is you're asking us, so that might entail us asking you questions back. But that's the process, and, you know, these things are generally pretty cool. So join us next time on Starting Strength Radio for our call-in Q&A. And then make up your own mind that you're going to call us next time we have one of these. We'll let you know in advance. Next time, Starting Strength Radio.